Hi guys, so I have put the new OEM top end in this OAS. Now, um, I can't remember what my last video was, but the long and short of it is um, there was a lot of pinging sounds going on and I thought maybe it was coming from the muffler uh, and I took the muffler off and I could still just about hear it over the sound of the engine without muffler on. Anyway, I thought uh, I've tried everything else. I've tried the recoil, I've tried taking the clutch off and it wasn't improving it. The muffler recoil and clutch wasn't improving it. So then uh, spoke to trains and spoke to a couple of other friends, well, the chap at the still shop himself, the owner, and uh, I said, look, let's put a new top end in there. Uh, gave him the two options, aftermarket or OEM. He decided OEM, so great news. We put it in, did all the measurements, it was great. Um, and this is the sound it was making before. So I'll show you two clips. I'll do about four seconds of the before, and then I've just gone out in the park now and I've just started up and I'll do about four seconds after. And uh, please to report, there is no pinging anymore. Uh, the normal two stroke sound of course is a pingy tingy noise, but you cannot mistake uh, the two, you can't, you, they're, they're totally different. So uh, the first sound I'm gonna play to you, or the first little clip is before I put the new top end in uh, and the old piston did have a lot of play between the skirt and the cylinder wall. This new one uh, is, is perfect. So uh, there we go, have a quick listen. So it, it's awesome, it's, a, it's really good and it's nice. It's just one more thing that I've learned uh, that I can now differentiate in terms of what that sound is. And I can actually hear it on a, on a few other saws that I own. Now that I've picked that sound up, the 056 Super has exactly that as well. I measured the piston, it's very worn. The 020 has it just slightly, so I can hear different saws and how worn, I guess, technically, the engine is now. And that's a that's a great thing. That, that's a real confidence booster on my journey. So anyway, there we go. Uh, one more quick listen. There's no mistaking it. So. We're gonna carry on with the rebuild. Uh, there's not a huge amount left. We've got the recoil to do. We have the clutch to do, the oil uh, pump side, which is essentially is the clutch cover itself. Uh, we have a job to do on the, the top handle. It's, it's kind of one, the cowling for this engine is the handle and the, the uh, and the cowling, I guess. Um, and there is a crack in that. So I'm gonna to have to decide how we wanna go about doing it. Do I drill a hole, use a little bit of JV weld, just reaffirm everything? Do I leave it how it is? Uh, we will see, we will deal with it when we come to it. All right guys, catch you soon, bye.